Hey guys, welcome back to Retro Peace Theater. So, we are now inside of the Shadow Temple. This is the second to last temple that we will uh, take on, which is kind of cool. Um, now, I did get the Ones of Truth, which lets me see things that, you know, are not there. Or see things that are, you know, not what they seem to be. But for some of this, I won't need it. For some of it, I will. Um, I kind of remember a little bit about where I'm going in this dungeon. Right now, we want to come in here. And we're going to face another one of these guys. This is one of the same bosses that we faced to get the ones of truth to begin with. Oh, get away, get away, get away. I like how it's still twitching as it lays there. That's creepy. <clears throat> Excuse me. The hover boots! So, the hover boots are... Pretty cool, but like the iron boots, we're going to be kind of putting them on and off. But, uh, for the most part, I'm going to try to leave them on when I can. You get no initial traction, but that's not a huge deal. The easiest way to deal with these redeads is to turn them to stone. Because you can get in several really good hits to them before uh, they thaw out. Before they get a chance to really attack you. And. that. This is going to be another dungeon where the map is going to be useful because there are some hidden rooms and uh, <clears throat> once I get the compass I'll be able to see kind of where I need to go a little easier um, as far as looking for um, all of the chests to get keys. But by and large this is not the most difficult dungeon in the game. I would rank it out of the five that you do as an adult, I would rank it like number two on a hardness scale. Um, so, uh, hang on, I got turned around. Is this where I just was? No. There we go. Okay, now we've got these boots on. And as you can see, the skulls <coughs> on these platforms, not all of them, are actually there. 
so we have to find the one that is, and it's that one. So we're gonna turn this so it's pointing at the one that's actually there. And to me, that from a from a game building standpoint, to me this is a really clever um, element to add. Having an object that you know only shows you what's real and not real, and you know you can't complete the dungeon without using it to some degree. Now this is tricky. So the hover boots give me a moment, and then yep. Now I am going to take them off. I'm gonna go down this one first. I don't remember which one I'm supposed to go down first. Okay. Wonderful. Grim Reapers, besides, I dig it. So, I try to get all of these. <coughs> this is usually the name of the game. Hopefully they don't do too much damage to you. But I am gonna go back. So I'm gonna come back to this room here in a second, but I do wanna check out what was down. This door over here. Uh, these guys are the same as the Redeads. Um, <coughs> And the trick with them is just to keep hitting them and don't let up. Like I said, you can use the, um, oh, the compass, yep. You can use the sun song on them and it does freeze them in place, which gives you a turn to get a few extra hits in, um, or just keep swinging your sword like a madman. And, you know, that works. Okay, compass and map, perfect. So there is a path here, we just can't see it yet. This requires a key. And we're going to come back to this room, because I know where that leads. But there was a spot in this other room that I wanted to check out real quick. anything there yet. That's actually a part of a room that we're going to come back to much, much later. And <clears throat> I should also know that there are several things I'm not getting dirt while I play that I could be I could have taken the time to already get, and I don't know if I will get all of them. Um, you know, there's trading sequences in the game, there's different things uh, like that um, to get better items. Like, there's a, a giant sword you can get, uh, which is actually more powerful in damage than the Master Sword. Um, you know, I can get upgrades to my uh, arrow quiver. Um, you know, there's upgrades to the wallet, um, but I don't need any of those things um, to, you know, beat the game. Yeah. 
and I'm not really doing a speed run, but at the same time, I'm also not trying to do a completionist playthrough. Oh, yep, the wall monsters. Gotta keep an eye out for them. If you stand in one spot too long, they will catch you. This room is extra tricky because not all of the platforms are visible. But, that's okay. I'm gonna get over here and I'm gonna have a baddie to face as soon as I fall off and die. Uh, I gotta run through this room again. Okay. Um, there's a gold Zora scale that lets you dive down even further that you get from the... Uh, there's a hunting lodge. There's also one song that I'm not getting uh, because I don't need to. I'm not getting all of the gold sculptures. Um, and maybe some, and there's like the mask trait sequence as well. And maybe, <clears throat> if anybody watching this is interested, maybe once I complete the game, maybe I'll go back and do some of that stuff. Because I will have that opportunity. Um, but really, I just wanted to get through and get to the final, you know, the ending of the game, as it were. Um, Keep timing that wrong. And I could also kill these guys in one shot with the arrows, but arrows, that would be a waste of arrows. The hook shot is uh, just as good. doesn't use up anything, which is nice. <laughs> okay guys, I'm gonna get right back to where I was. Hang on. Okay, I just made that jump, so now let's try to, you know, not die. See, there's some hidden paths over here that I'm going to go towards. There's a room. Let's put the bow and arrow on. Now, what I do like about the... Uh, Lens of Truth is that I don't have to hold the button down to keep using it. It will just, you know, stay on. The uh, compass is nice because I can see on the map that there's a treasure chest there that I wouldn't normally be able to see. Okay. So that was useless, but that's okay. Now I'm going to have to fight the uh, Skull Soldier that I just killed a moment ago. I'm going to fight him again. <clears throat> he will probably reappear on this platform. And 
There he is. Try to jump on this platform as it's going down. There we go. And we're gonna head over here. That. Now, I need a key. And said key, I gotta go this way to get it. There's one underneath this guy. So I'm going to throw one over there and blow him up. Why not? Okay. Now, this room has a hidden block. <clears throat> now this block is what's going to let me get through this room without getting crushed. Sometimes you can backflip up and get it if you get it just right, but I don't feel like wasting the time. Okay. onto a platform I'm up high enough that I can jump up and climb up on here. Get on here. Now we go across the way over here. We're gonna get this treasure chest. chasm with the invisible platforms. Ooh, that was close. Now we're going to try to time our jump. Oh! That's okay, I'll go back to... Since this is the last doorway I came out of, that's okay. And I'm actually going to ignore the Skull Warrior. 
because I can. Ugh. Man. My, t my jump timing is all off today, people. Downside is you slide. Okay. Take those off. Now, several of these spiky things around the room. I'm not going to uh, fight them because I don't have to, but just so they don't hinder me, I am going to turn them to stone. Sculpture behind this giant skull. But out of the room. But I need to get a bomb, and I don't feel like wasting my own, since these are free and right here. Ugh, bad timing. There we go. And you get a key. This is hard because I have to time it for when that fan is off.
So I gotta time this right. Wait till that fan shuts off, and then I need to stand in front of that last third fan. That one's off. That one's off. With the help of the wind and the hover boots, it pushes me across. gentlemen are nearing the end. of Quran. Boat of the... Okay, guys. So, it may look in editing like it just clipped and looks a little different for a second. Um, shortly after this point, my capture stopped capturing. And so I had to go back and play up to this point again. So, uh, here we go. <laughs> um... But good news is we're actually not far from the end of the game. Uh, well, the end, excuse me, the end of the dungeon. Uh, so this is more or less like the boat of the dead of deliverance. You know, like in Greek mythology of Chiron and the coin to ferry yourself across. And I don't even have to beat these guys. I just actually just need to out-survive them. Because you'll see here in a moment, we're going to get to a certain point over here, where I'm just going to abandon ship. Because the whole boat is going to sink in just a moment. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. And it crashes. And it's going to sink. That's going to just take them with it. Now, I need to go in this room here. There's two things I need in this room. Uh, and I'm going to 
to get them very quickly. And one of these rooms over here is uh, the boss key. these wooden spikes that are going to come in and close in on us, but if we use dense fire, we can set them ablaze, as well as everything else in the room. The other room we're going to go into is directly opposite where we are now. amount of stuff in this dungeon I have skipped um, because there's a lot of useless chests um, that they put in this one to kind of lure you to run around um, so I should have everything I need to get to the boss we're gonna equip our fire arrows and we're going to light some bombs That's okay. There we go. And we are almost to our boss fight. We are so close. Go in here. And, yep, now I need to equip my Lens of Truth to see the pathway across. And it is, let's see, oh, hover boots, hover boot time. Okay, so. This one. Yeah, we're gonna go across to this one. And we're gonna get over here and then we're gonna go across. Alright guys, so I am at the boss door. Um I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode here. Next episode I will take on the boss of this dungeon. And yeah, that's gonna be a good time. So I'll see you then. Thanks. Bye.